Hello everyone and welcome to a hardcore classic WoW video. I think it's been the most requested thing on my WoW videos lately. Many of you asked if I play hardcore and I do, um, but not on YouTube. I streamed it on Twitch recently. So, yeah, today we're just going to quest level a bit on my current character. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and a comment before you get too sleepy. And before we start, I would like to ask your attention for a little bit longer. Does your browser also look as dull and as boring as a human male warrior at the mailbox in Stormwind City? Don't worry, I've got you, because today we're going to talk about Opera GX, a browser designed for gamers with endless customization options so you can make the browser fit your style. You can customize everything from sounds, background music, wallpapers, color themes, so that you can finally have that Zelda or Minecraft theme that you've been looking for, and with sound. All the many customization options can be a bit overwhelming, but you can make this much easier by picking one of the many pre-made mods in GX Mods to instantly give your browser a makeover. Or you can simply make your own. You can easily install the mod and it will automatically be applied to your browser. Does your browser sometimes load as slowly as a Gnomergon dungeon run? And do all your 20 tabs make your game lag so much that by the time you're finally out of the Baron's boat loading screen, you're already on the boat on your way back to Booty Bay? No worries, cause in Opera GX, you can enhance your performance when gaming with your browser open. At GX Control, you can limit your RAM and your CPU usage. And you can kill all your tabs at once. Opera GX uses much less of your CPU and memory as, for instance, Google Chrome does, especially when alt-tabbing and being in-game. Make your browser look as cool as your in-game character and try Opera GX. With the quick import tool, you can very easily import all your settings, bookmarks, history, and cookies of your previous browser to GX. And even your Chrome extensions will all work. So if you're a gamer, you will definitely like this browser, so make sure to give it a try and download Opera GX through the link in my description. Let me know how you like it and thank you so much for your time. Let's get to the video. So my first character was this hunter, Cherry, and I died. You can see it in my YouTube shorts. Um, I captured it because it was on stream. I died to a high-level bear that I accidentally pulled while I was already fighting another bear. And I started panicking and I forgot about my taunt and I got stunned. I missed. All of this stuff happened and I died. So now I'm playing this rogue cherry cake, level 12 rogue. And that's the one we're going to play. So, I have been leveling in Elwyn Forest and in Don Moreau. Both, both zones because I want to overlevel my character as much as possible to make it a bit easier for me. I'd rather have some green quests and not die than aim for all the yellow higher level quests and have a tough time. So, I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. So, I'm gonna try to make this hardcore experience as chill and relaxing as possible. Um, I did quite a bit here. I'm pretty much done. I just need a few things over there, but there's a lot of people fighting over the mobs. So I will try to do that. I'm gonna hand in this quest. They say it's an upgrade, but I'm not sure if I want that. I will turn off the dialogue sound. I don't really need them. Ok, 
Okay, so I'm gonna try to finish this quest and then I'll go um, I need to turn in some quests, learn new skills. I think I didn't do that yet. Or I did. I'm not sure. I don't think I did. And then I will move over here. There's a few more quests. Eventually I'll go to Logmodan and Westfall. Like, I could technically go to Westfall, but... Oh, well, actually I could. For these lower level quests, I could. I'm just gonna round it off a bit here. So I'm having a lot of fun leveling in, in Classic. I always enjoy leveling. It's very nostalgic to me. I don't mind it. But I shouldn't do it too much right after each other. I always get this leveling nostalgic craving every now and then. And then I level a character until I'm satisfied. And then I do something else for a while. So I don't want this whole hardcore experience to ruin my love for leveling. So I'll see how long I stay motivated. They're also going to release Blizzard, I mean, official servers. I don't know when, so doing this unofficially also feels a bit like... Should I do this? Like, what if this character actually reaches 60? And then I have this character on this random server. But I have no idea what the plan is for the official servers, if it's gonna be like a very specific realm, or a new realm, or a mode you can enable, or a different game to launch, I have no idea. I think they're gonna update us at BlizzCon, that's what I would guess. But yeah, we're going to see that. For now, my mentality is I'll probably die before the official servers anyway, so it's, it's fine. Forgot my talent there. I put some in dodge, I think it can be useful. O often guides say to put it in, in gouge, but I'm not a huge fan of that. I know I'll probably have to use it to survive here in hardcore, but I don't know. I can always use that or put talents in there later. Okay, so it looks like everyone is struggling to find these mobs. I need four more items. Um, yeah. L last time I did this, I was around here. Oh, but there's so many people. There's one up there. This warrior. He can't. I'll be quick. I got him. One up there. Oh, there's actually... Okay. Oh, there's an NPC here. Onin Mechhammer. <gasps> I got a sword. Is it two-handed? Oh, it's one-handed. I got a one-handed sword. <gasps> oh my god. 
indestructible. That's what I am now. Okay. So the drop rate seems pretty good. I just need two more. And then I'm done. Oh, okay, I just jinxed it. I just need to linger around here for a little longer. I'll be fine. Oh, there's one. So in situations like this, I guess the danger is that people can become greedy. Um, the drop rate and the spawn rate is already not the best and then you need to share this with many other people so when you see two mobs I kind of feel greedy like I want to pull them both but that's also when you can die so you need to be very careful so yeah I'm just gonna run around here Two more drops. I was really lucky with the ones I killed earlier. At least I know that now they can also spawn up there. I'm sorry, I was greedy for that. Like, I, I stole it from that guy. Or There's no stealing here. Everyone is doing the same thing. I don't know if you guys do the same, but sometimes I click in vanilla rather than press my keys. And I don't know why, like it, it makes no sense, but I just feel like I have higher chances of actually... Oh man, she tagged and now she's letting other people kill. What a... Unfair. I feel like, especially in tense situations, I feel like it's more reliable if I click as I see if I'm indeed exactly pressing the right button. And I sometimes misclick on my keyboard, you know. I don't know, it's kind of weird. There's quite a few respawning now, but I've been extremely unlucky with the drops. Oh, cat incoming. Please don't stand in front of my screen. Minji. <laughs> Can't see anything. an eye out for the one that spawns up there. No, oh, just too late. Oh, he's gonna run right into a mob. If he's gonna pull that too. No, he's not. If you're hearing weird sounds, it's my cat looking at pigeons and mowing at them. Okay, thank god we're done. This one was hard. Like, not hard, just tedious. So now I can finally turn that in. There's something here in a cave, and I'm not sure what it is. Probably like an interactable item. 
I have no idea. Yeah, this one sounds like a tough one. Those over here I can easily do with the bone snappers, skull thumpers. No, Minji leaves the pigeons alone. I haven't done anything to you. Um, yeah, I'm curious. I see a cave up there. But it kind of looks like it's hard, hard to reach on the map. Bit of a tricky spot. How do you get there? Maybe, maybe it's the other way around. There was also a chest. If it's too hard to get, then yeah, it looks like it. I'll just skip. I feel like rested XP is also very slow in vanilla. I kind of forgot how slow it was. I feel like leaving my character in the inn for a few days just gives me like two bars. <laughs> Three bars of rested XP. Really not a lot. Okay, I'm just gonna run this way. So I have skinning. So I can basically skin everything. And there's often not a lot of people with skinning. Like here. I felt like skinning was popular, but maybe not for the gnomes and dwarves. As a night elf it was, because you can find a trainer pretty early on. But it's nice for me, because I can skin everything make a bit of money. I have 72 silver. I'm almost rich. Yeah, there's not much left in this, in Karanas for me. I might get a follow-up quest after this one, I don't know. I don't know the dwarf zone that well. I've quested here, but never as much as I did for the night elf or human zone, where I know everything by heart. Here a bit less. Save the entire gnomish race. What did we do with all those gears? I didn't read the quest, so I have no idea. But there's some stuff happening there. Yeah, I think that's it. No follow-up. So... I think I should go in Ironforge first. And then these quests I have my heartstone in Stormwind so when I'm done here I can easily teleport back it's not that far but it's
saves me a little bit of time. So yeah, let me show you guys. I'm also leveling up my cooking skills. I should start fishing. Because at some point it gets a bit tough to come, a come across all of this. Oh, I could make this if I have Rhapsody Malt. But yeah, I guess recipes with fish that you can just fish up is the easy way to go. But it is nice to level this because you can create recipes that gives you buffs. Um, this one gives me stamina and spirit. Can't use spirit that much. Stamina is alright. But I guess it's better than nothing. Everything's useful. So happy with my two green items at level 13. And I haven't even touched the level 10 plus zones yet, so I think that's pretty impressive. I didn't even get them from Westfall or anything. I think I need to talk to one of the, like, kings, generals, or important people in here. Yes. Senator. It's King Magni. Look at him. Okay. Oh. Huh. No follow-up. I... How's my professions? Okay. I do have a quest over here. I think that's a rogue quest. It's probably the level 10 dwarf rogue quest. If that's how it works, I'm not entirely I'm also leveling my tailoring so that I can create bags for myself. I think at level 45 of tailoring. So I'm just gonna level with linen cloth as long as I can. Until I can make bags. And then I should level up my first aid a little bit as well. Because that's just good for surviving. Um, I have a quest here. Not sure what it's for, but I'll just pick it up anyway. Okay, gives me a ring. Where's this from? Oh, Black Fathom Deeps. Yeah, I was level 23, yeah. That's gonna take a while before I get there. I'm very scared of doing dungeons, but I will do dead mines. I love dead mines. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the the risk. Okay, yeah. I will go. To the other quest hub. I'll pass here. Oh, okay, that's convenient. It's a quest in Lokmodan, where I'll be questing in not that long, so... I'll pick that up. I'm curious, if you're playing Hardcore Classic, let me know in the comments how you died, if you, if you already died. How did you die? If you died multiple times, what was your, 
what was like the death that was the most unfortunate or the funniest one or the one you want to share I'm gonna quickly pass by this meat vendor and sell him some weapons because that's definitely what a meat vendor wants I think he'd be very happy with that okay. I miss a cleanup button I think I can just install back and on and it will do it because it gets very like messy at some point okay No, this quest tells me to go all the way there, just where I came from. That's so far. Oh man, I'm not gonna do that now, because I don't want to just walk all the time. We're gonna kill some trogs. If you guys like this video, like um, hardcore leveling specifically, let me know, because sometimes I want to play this character more often, but I don't want to play it off camera, because if I die, it's such a like waste of a moment that should have been captured. So I play it on stream. But I don't stream that often. So I could do a bit of both. I play it on stream or during a video. And then if I die, it's captured. I, I've never been a human rogue on Classic. Always my good old Night Elf Rogue that's what I always played but I remember that sometimes I was a bit jealous of humans because I really liked how it's gonna sound weird but I liked how big enchanted swords looked on a female human rogue and their body pose uh, like their stance or whatever their neutral position when sometimes like they put one foot behind the other it's it's such a stupid little detail but hey i was like 12 and i really cared about aesthetics and stuff and i thought it looked really like laid back relaxed but then so cool with big swords and on night elf you didn't really have any pose like that but yeah and since night elves are so tall the swords look less big and on humans they look huge I thought that was really cool and I also preferred how I'm gonna help you I also preferred how um, masks look on humans on night elves they look a bit too small for their head okay so i hope this human is gonna help me too What quest did I pick up? I need a fang. Wait, did she pull that thing all the way down from there? So like run around here as like a tactic? Shall I try that? She used a lot of thrown weapons must have a lot of patience. I'm 
a bit scared. It's an elite. Oh boy. I should be careful not to fall to my death. Okay, we're gonna see. My sprint is almost off cooldown. I can always escape. I got the hint. See, this is not against the rules. This is. We got this. I use all my buffs. <laughs> That's kind of weird. It's like unspoken rules. But this guy clearly wanted to help me. I would feel super bad to... not help him in return, so... <laughs> Here we are. You know what? I'm gonna skin him. I wanna skin this Yeti. Each time I say Yeti, I really need to think, because one time in my video I called my blue Yeti Mike a blue Yeti, and a Jedi, and a Yeti, and Yeti, and... I've mispronounced this word so many times that sometimes I don't even remember how to pronounce it. Oh, there's quite a few people now. Um, okay. We're all just here for fun, okay? We're all here to just slay big elite yetis. That's what we like to do. What am I doing? I can't even. I always go in stealth automatically, but... I don't have any ability yet. I can't use backstab. Okay. Well, help this guy. Oh, there's two more now. Okay, okay. Well, I'm dipping. I came right at the, at the right time. There's someone else now, too. Okay, I'm gonna make a bold move. I'm good. I'm a rogue. I can fall. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Another upgrade. Oh, this is nice. Oh, but this is actually nice, because you don't get that in Westfall. Low level. In Westfall, you get the pants with spirit. Something useless for me. <laughs> but hey, it's a greenie. So if I do the other quest in Westfall now, at least I have two green items. Two important green items. I always feel like pants, chest. These are like they count more than wrists and waists. I don't know if that's actually true. Cooking trainer. I got one wolf meat. Does he sell? Oh man, I need Rhapsody Malls. Don't tell me I need to go back to the inn in Karazhan. Karanos, not Karazhan. To be able to buy it. Okay. Um. We're gonna be killing. I'm gonna see if pickpocketing them gives me anything. <laughs> One copper. Okay. Not sure if that's worth it. Oh, these give me linen cloth. I really need more linen cloth for tailoring and first aid. 
Uh, that's I think that's like the nice thing about hardcore, which is probably why it appeals to many people. It's very nice for solo play. I often play MMO solo anyway. And this supports it well. And there's also all these little things you need to take into account. All these little things you need to do on the side. Need to level my cooking. Need to level my first aid. Need to keep up with my professions because I'm gonna need the money. You know, there's lots of little things to take into account to take it slow, which is nice. It's, it's satisfying in a way. But I was very sad when I died on my night off. I wasn't ready yet. I was very confident that I was going to get at least level 20 without dying. Spirit, yay. My favorite stat. So I'm I'm not gonna go too far into that cave. Just shouldn't become too overconfident. That's a bit how I died last time. I was too overconfident. I'm excited to level in Dunmoreau. I never really do. Wait, do I need to get in the cave? I think I do. Okay, we're gonna take a chill. like rogue in in classic i got my rogue to level 60 back in the days when vanilla classic launched the downtime is not that long especially now that i'm over leveled a bit you can go pretty quickly oh i'm getting some nice trash drops I wouldn't go in this cave if I was around level 10 like the mobs because if two spawn on me I wouldn't be able to save myself out of that situation or at least not guarantee should be careful now because it looks like they're respawning I'm done. 
I also got quite a few like weapon drops and stuff. Look, I got sword, maze, gun, dagger, staff. I got them all. That's some nice extra money, you know? up here I love how Sprint is so long and classic or at least vanilla, I'm not sure if it changed in Wrath already okay Gotta turn in those quests. Where do I get up? Probably around here. Yep. Okay. If this character dies, I'm gonna make a gnome warlock. Just to keep it fresh and different, you know. I'm not gonna continue with the same class over and over. That just gets boring at some point for me. Okay, selling all this juicy money. I mean, I'm not selling my money, I'm selling items. Um, yeah. I can make three linen cloth. I think this was not the quest I was talking about earlier. I think this is another follow-up. Oh, it's Onin. It's the rogue. Oh, this is the rogue quest. Okay. Wait, what, what do I get from that? Oh, it doesn't tell me. Oh man, I'm actually kind of curious. Maybe that gives me another greenie. I'll need to get back there anyway at some point. It's a lot of running, but I can make it efficient by skinning in the meantime, you know? I'm almost at one gold. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill this boar for a bit of... I don't know, leather. And leveling my defense, you know? And I get meat that I can use for leveling my cooking. See? Nothing's wasted in classic. If you just kill mobs, it's still money and... It's still... Skill. XP. For people wondering why my buffs are so big, by the way, it's an add-on. Forgot to turn it off for this character, but it's fine, I think. Um, it's the hardcore add-on, and I think they do it on purpose, so that you're aware of the buffs that you have, or something like that. Let's see what this pot is all about. Looks like one of those dwarven buildings. Oh no, it's the gates. Huh. It's gonna ask me to go to Loch Modan, I think. We're gonna find out. Come on, sprint.
I will run back for the other quest. Only four bars, and then I'm level 14. I might do dead mines around level 20, if I can get there. I'm a bit scared of doing it before. Maybe between 18 and 20. I don't know what to expect with dungeons on hardcore. I think people might pull very slowly kill mobs one by one but they gotta be very careful of their pools not do anything stupid I remember going to this part, the um, Iron Forge Airport, that's what they called it back in the days. That's my cat. <laughs> She's like in front of my screen. I think this is the quest with um, some trolls, isn't it? Or I'm probably confusing them with retail. I don't think there's trolls here. He's here. He's dead. Very dead. Oh! Dagger! Oh, it's better than... It's much better than the rogue one. Oh, this is nice. Very nice. Oh, there's more people. Oh no, we gotta wait in line. Oh my god, did you see that? He yoinked. Are they in a group? Oh, they are. Okay. Such a cute bear. So this is the bear that all the dwarves get on their hunters. They just get this one. And then they wait for it to respawn and finish the quest. Smart. It's what all the horde did. All the horde always did that with the um, the silver white lion, and I always got the black lion, Humar, the Pride Lord is what he's called. Okay, so this thing's gonna respawn somewhere here. I'm just gonna spam the button in case someone randomly runs. Oh no, there's people coming. to get that juicy dagger. 
and then I think that marks a good break at the inn to get some rested XP. I have like a couple of pigeons, like two pigeons, a couple, always coming to my balcony now, <laughs> so cute. Alright. Oh man, look at me. Strong. Okay guys, that's it for today. I'm gonna end the video here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments and don't forget to let me know how you died on your hardcore character and what the highest level is that you got. I'm curious. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all relaxed and I see you next time.